Now I've mounted the slide binder on uh, the tripod. Same radials, same amount, same length, and um, fitted in the same way with the pin at the bottom and then coming out to pins at all four points of compass, roughly. So I've set it roughly where it was before for 40 meters and we'll have a look and see where we are. My initial thought is that the slider is slightly higher up. Um, I won't be able to check that until I look at the stills later. But this is 40 meters. Hopefully you can see that's at 7100 plus or minus one kilohertz and it's under two to one across the band. So 30 meters set for the same, 10, 100, 1 1.28 as a minimum, 100 kilohertz either way, less than 1 to 1 1.5, no problem at all. You can see that the slider is significantly higher than it was when the aerial was ground mounted. So 20 meters, again significantly higher on the coil. 14200 plus or minus 200 1.08 at best and less than about 1 to 1.4 or 1.3 across the band pretty impressive so we'll look for 17 meters next so 17 meters there we are you can see 18100 plus or minus 100 and it's about 1.4 right the way across the band. So with 17 meters being so high on the coil, I am struggling to get 15 meters tuned in. So what I'm going to do is the trick I did on um, 10 meters when it was ground mounted, take the whip off, uh, fold the top section and see where we get to. So this is what I'm seeing with the coil in on 21 uh, megahertz, 15 meters. Um, the best I can get it is uh, 1.73 to 1 at 19,800. Uh, I'm not going to mess any more with that. That will probably tune. But if I want to use 15, uh, I may have to add more radials. Although the ground here is soaked with salt water, so i um, not sure what difference that would make. Uh, or uh, get a, a different length of whip uh, for the higher bands. Uh, but let me take the coil out and see what it's like, um, both with the antenna full length and with it folded at the top. With the whip at its full length, it was exactly the same as it was with the coil in and the top section folded over. So this is with the whip with the top section folded over and no coil. 21200. You can see it's actually minimum at about 2.4 at 21352. So it's between 2 to 1 and 3 to 1, which is fine. I can tune that on 15 meters, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get 10 meters out of this setup. One thing I'm planning to do uh, for the next outing is I'm going to get some garden canes or similar. I'm going to raise the radials um, to about the same height as the feed point. Uh, off the ground and we'll see what difference that makes. So what do I think about the aerial? Well actually I'm astounded, I'm, I'm very very pleased with it. Okay I'm struggling on 10 meters, um, it's not a band I tend to use anyway, uh, 12 meters is a bit of a miss as well. Um, I'm sure I can achieve that if I just work at it a little bit and we'll see how we do with that. But to get whole band coverage out of a shortened vertical is remarkable. Um, and it's really very quick to set up. So I have no complaints at all in that department. Um, I do like the aerial on the tripod and it's going to be interesting to try it with raised radials and see what sort of difference I get from there. 
So I got a couple of hours out with the slide winder. Um, it, it was really good to see how well it worked. Um, certainly as far as the rig expert was concerned. Next time I bring it out, I might even use it. You never know. I do want to test it with raised radials. Uh, that would be truly interesting. Uh, but uh, this is one of my favorite places to play radio. Just to give you an idea of what's around, you can see this car parking here, right down by the side of the salt marsh and a road. And the road just goes to Red Bank Farm, which is just at the end here. And they, they have a cafe. Uh, they do salt marsh lamb amongst other things, which is well sought after, as you can imagine. It's, uh, it's quite a, a beautiful place. Um, do have to be careful of, of dog walkers and, and the rest of the general public, but it's a lovely spot, as you can see behind me. It's just absolutely glorious, regardless of the weather. It's, uh, it's a beautiful place. Great for radio, especially when the tide's in. So there you are. There's a couple of uh, tests of the Slidewinder DX portable antenna from M1 ECC antennas, and I hope you enjoyed it.